Hi and welcome to another decorating platter rims video. This one is actually combining spirit stains from chestnut products and some acrylic paint, uh, metallic silver and metallic gold. Um, it's a piece of beach 12 inches or so across and the rim has been sanded down to 400 grit and sealed with some acrylic sanding sealer and the the top has just been treated with some yellow orange red and purple spirit stain and for this one rather than airbrushing I've put it on just using a piece of kitchen cloth um, trying to blend the colors in where they meet with each other so there's not too sudden a transition but I actually then go on to cover this with some airbrushing using a very inexpensive cardboard template um, it sort of reminded me a bit of tiger skin which is why part of the name is tiger but as I was going on I didn't like the build up in the middle of the rim with the large uh, splodge of black I th it looked too clunky to me so reworked that a little bit putting some color uh, in the inner rim some up some red darkening that and uh, some black in the middle which in fact actually served to emphasize the different colors around the rim moving from the yellow to the orange to the red and uh, then for adding a bit more sparkle and pizzazz some acrylic gold and some acrylic silver paint that I put on round the edge the consistency of this paint is quite thin but um, I found that it moves better with just a little squirt of water from a, from a mister, a uh, water mister. So um, you should see me in a moment putting a splurge of that on. There we go, not too much. And increasing the speed and ending up with this effect. Silver for the moon, gold for the sun. Uh, a few close-ups to show you in more detail uh, what the rim looks like. This did actually sell in my open house in May this year, one of the last ones to sell, so it took a while for someone to appreciate it, but um, it was great fun to do, and I think it's a technique I'm probably going to use again and again. Thanks for watching. 